Okay, this video is upgrading a Acer laptop. We're going into more detail. We're going to be popping in a 480 gig um, Kingston drive, which they, I think they're brilliant. I'm not too sure. I think we've got eight gig in there. If there's a spare slot, I've got a couple of chips here. I'm going to drop another four in, taking it up to 12. They're just spares I've got laying around. And also, I'm going to change the battery, which is internal on these. And this is the Acer Aspira, I've got it on the back here. And it's the V3 574. Okay. And I'm also, at the same time, <clears throat> when I take the back off, I will be blowing out um, the fan. Uh, so make sure the CPU is running nice and cool. So first off, it's all switched off. Make sure you switch it off. Next thing is flip it over. And then we're going to drop all the screws out. So you've got one, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16 screws. I won't bore you with that bit, but we'll start off with this one. I'll do this and I will speed it up. And put them nice and safe. This one here, this should retain this will retain the CD ROM put that to one side you've got three more just here this holds the case on as well oh sorry I can't even see that there you go three more there they've got to come out as well but I'll carry with the other ones You can't make a mistake if you can see. You can if you drop them on the floor. <clears throat> Quite a, a white head on them. And then what you do once you've got all the screws out, you will gently prise the case off the back. So. this I'll get back to you in a sec okay 20 screws all together including the three flat heads here and then all you do I just tip mine on its side and start prising the case off using your fingernails Oop, I can't see that. just hold it it's a bit awkward on camera sorry there you go making your way around Pretty straightforward. I believe there's a connector here, which is for the fan, so just be careful with that one. What you'll do with that, you'll just lift this case off this way and then unscrew the fan from that way. Okay, just work your fingers around. tricky at the back but you don't too much pressure it'll come there's a little bit there because where the D sub comes out so I'll bring that forward a bit Just have a look, see, I haven't left a screw behind. Oh, there we go, there's one there, my mistake. Okay, covered it up because of security problems, there we go. It's security issues, not problems. <clears throat> so my, my mistake missed a screw out. Okay, there we go. And... You can see that little tiny. There we go. Little tiny, just pull him forward. There we go. That's your case off. OK. 
Okay. So this is your hard drive. And these should just lift out. So you just hold it to the sides. It just comes and just gently forward. That's all you have to do. What we'll do then, we'll swap this over. So as you take it out, we put these side rails exactly on to the new drive going in. And we have one memory slot. Free. So this is, I think it's an 8, eight gig stick. I've only got some spares, which is a four. So make sure it's the same one. Very easy to do. And push down. Done. I'll blow the fan out in a minute, just to make sure, because we've all got it apart now. So you might as well do that. And then we'll change the battery as well. So we might as well do the battery first while we're waiting. So I'll bring that forward for you. Okay, so it just lifts up. That's all there is to it. And these pins just slide out. That's it. That's it. Take the new battery. Put him back in exactly the same way you took him out. But you might have to remember which way around the pins go. So you've got to make sure as you take him out that you put him back in the same way. It probably won't fit anyway, but just double check. Okay, so I know it goes. There is a it's a D shape to it, so hold the case in. Firmly home. Make sure it's in properly. Pop the battery in. That's how simple that is. That's that easy. Okay. So we put the memory in, the battery in, next will be the hard drive. So what I'll do then, I'll unpack this. And then we'll pop him in. Oop. Okay, and this is purely for beginners, just to let you know. This is no moving parts. This is like, uh, I can explain it, a massive USB stick as opposed to the weight difference is considerable but also this has a motor in it so it has moving parts and eventually all moving parts will wear and that's when they fail um, i'm not saying these don't fail these can get corrupt but these will fail inside here there's some discs that spin not going too technical uh, it's in a vacuum and then there's heads that float over the discs and that picks up the data transfers it memory does it, UCPU does all the rest for you and and that's it so to a sort of make your machine a little bit more robust faster, a lot faster and more reliable then this is the way to go ok, let's get him fitted so it just comes off quite straightforward this is a terabyte drive um, I think it's failing but I still prefer less capacity. It's not a bad price. These was about this was about fifty six quid. So I'm not bothered about that. Most of my stuff I'll back up onto USB sticks anyway, or a separate hard drive. Okay, so I'm pushing back home. Push him in, and that's it. It's that simple. Put the case back on again. Put the power unit back in for the for the case for the fan. That's not for the fan, is it? What is that for? Anyway? ZRT. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. Anyway, so put this back on as reverse. Put all the the gobbins and the screws back. We can do that now if you wish. The easy way of doing it is just to lift the case up, put him in, that's him, he's home. Case back on, this end first to make sure he's snug, and that's it. Put the screws back in. Okay, thanks very much for watching. It was a
thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share would be great. See you in the next vid.